Good afternoon, everybody. We are in the Costa del Jaywick. This week, I've done an article for the Guardian newspaper. M millions of people will see it in the years to come. I've told Donald Trump to personally come to Jaywick. I've helped a man in a shed find a home nearly. And we are achieving many, many things. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that doesn't live in the past and doesn't keep bringing up our past. Because how can we have a future if we're going to live in the past? No one will. Anyway, enough about all that. I call it politrix, not politics. More like politics tricks. We are here at the Mighty Mermaid Inn. This pub has so many memories that are close to me. It's time for me to give you an interview about my memories. Now, when I was growing up in Jaywick, there was not a lot of activities for us. There wasn't a lot of activities at all. And I remember when I was around 13 or 14, that year would be 1988. I remember one Christmas, I remember that us kids didn't have a youth club or anything. And I remember the mermaids putting on a children's Christmas party. And our mate Mick dressed up at Santa Claus and come and gave all us kids a present each. That was Christmas in 1998. And Mick came through them doors all the way to the back room downstairs. And that's where all the kids were playing. And I was one of them kids. And Mick gave us all the present each. And even though we knew it as Mick, he's like a Jaywick hero. He fixed all the windows. We were so happy that someone done something for us. So that is one of my memories of the mermaid. Christmas 1988, when me and a load of kids in Jaywick that didn't have a lot of money, didn't have a lot of people that cared about us. People from other areas called us scum because we're from Jaywick. Actually, I wasn't born in Jaywick. I was born in Rugby, Warwickshire where Lady Diana was born. Still, I get called scum because I live in Jaywick. It don't bother me because when you've got haters, you're doing all right. I believe that when people hate you and talk bad about you, you're doing something right. It means that they're jealous of you and it means that you are doing better than what they are. So carry on hating everybody. Well, not everybody. If that's what you want to do, then you carry on hating because it doesn't bother me. I lived in Jaywick since I was 11. And I've had people pick on me from the age of 11 for living here. So now I'm 43, it doesn't really bother me. My memories on the Mermaid are good. And that's why I love this building. And that's why it's a Jaywick icon. I mean, when I was 13, I came here at Christmas and Santa Claus gave me a present. Now that's a very good memory. And I bet you there's people watching this film that are at that Christmas party. How about you let me interview you? And how about we tell everybody about the Mermaid Inn? this iconic Jaywick building, how they helped the kids that had nothing, how they did auctions here, how the adults drunk here, had fun. There was a children's bar, there was auctions here, there was Christmas parties, Easter parties. They looked after Jaywick. Can we not talk about that? The Mermaid Inn, when can I interview you? I really need to interview you. Let's just take a minute and look at this iconic building while we can. As we look at it, speak your story why it's still here. They just put this green fence up around it. it. It means it's getting knocked down very soon. We need to make these stories why it's here. When it's just an empty bit of land, it'd be gone. But it's still here. So come on, ladies and gentlemen, before the Mermaid Inn is laid to rest, can we please speak our stories with our very best the Mermaid Inn, Jaywick's iconic building to me and to so many. It might mean nothing to many of you, but it means a lot to me and a few others. Please tell me your stories and let me film it, please. We've got to shine on the Mermaid Inn. Let's do it. Shine on. Scotty, walk them round.
<laughs> what do you think of it, Sonny? He's an iconic building, legend. And just what like do you his. Feel every time you. Well, it's just, I'm, I'm used to having it up, and when it, if it goes down. Do yourself some damage, aren't you? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I'll be upset. Mad. I'll be upset if it goes it gets knocked down. Yeah, I'll be upset. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank my cameraman, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, it's all right. And you have great memories too of it, didn't you? Yeah. Scotty's our table tennis champion. We'll see you <laughs> at the Joe Wicks Hands Happy Club. Yeah, I'll be there. All day party on the 23rd of I'm this month. Looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me get your story of the mermaid in. Please tell it to me. How else? Can we shine this iconic building on? Shine on everybody. Have a great day. The Mermaid in forever. I think I, I, I think I'm quite emotional when it goes down. Actually, I'll be upset. Yeah, <laughs> Scotty, I'm emotional already. Seeing that fence go up has made me emotional. That's why I've created the Mermaid in video interviews, where we can all share our memories of it before it is gone forever. And then we can look back at these videos, look back at this building, and know that we told the world how much we love the Mermaid Inn. How much we love it! We had some very great times in here, Scotty. Oh, right. We had the best times of our life, Scotty. Oh, wow. 11 pounds it costs. <laughs> Shine on.